This video kind of looks like a clogged artery, doesn't it? It looks nasty. It does look gross. <laughs> it is gross. The London Fattenberg making headlines all over the world and crews across the pond. They found yet another massive sewer blockage this week. It's the first time I've even heard of Fatberg. Have you heard of the phrase before? No, I literally thought it was a clogged artery we were showing you video of. Yeah, and apparently uh, they stretch for, for blocks. I mean, these things You've are You've got family massive. from that part. Yeah, they never told me about this. That's why they're here now. Uh, Jared Dillingham went along with a crew from the city of Phoenix uh, to check out whether we are at risk of something nasty like this underground. I know you're grossed out by this. You've been looking forward to this story. So here we go. <laughs> we found out it is an ongoing daily effort to keep this kind of thing from happening. The city works hard to remind us all that fats, oils and greases should not be going down the drain and you'll see why. This is the latest block of Fatberg that's just been pulled fresh out of the sewer. It's just come out of the sewer, massive Fatberg. It's just the ick factor. It is just so disgusting. Fatbergs lurking under London, congealing and clogging. Lots of fats, oils and greases all clumping together. Fats, oils and greases causing a plague in pipes worldwide. <laughs> We went along with the city crew working to prevent Fatbergs in Phoenix. It's going to be grease is going to be the main one um, and hardens on the inside of the pipe. Fatbergs in Phoenix are on a much smaller scale, measured in inches or feet, not in full city blocks. This video shows a partial blockage of fat oil and grease combined with another clogging culprit. The disposable wipes. Uh, that don't disintegrate. This total blockage was found last week in West Phoenix at an intersection with a school and shopping plazas with several fast food restaurants. These locations can be problem spots. We do have some areas where we have a lot of restaurants that are all built up in one location. 18 of these hydrojet vacuum trucks are on city streets every day, sending cameras down to inspect pipes and sending roaches scurrying for their lives. A pressure washer dislodges any muck, which is sucked back up into the truck. And you can tell the stark difference between the Phoenix sewer lines here and the large brick-lined Victorian sewers built 165 years ago in London. And it's pretty clear why we don't have the problems London continues to see. Some pieces just crumble off, other pieces you really got to go at it. Removing the biggest fatberg we've found so far in our sewers. Back in Phoenix, work continues daily to keep fatbergs from forming. All right, there is a gross out factor in this, I admit, but there's a, a happy side note here. They actually turned the first London fatberg into 3,000 gallons of biodiesel. I'm Jared Dillingham for Arizona's Family.